Yo, what is going on guys? I'm Agronation and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm bringing you guys a Mope.io commentary video of how to become a pro. Even if you're a noob right now, I've gotten so many of you asking me, Yo, I'm a noob right now, Agronation. How do you get pro in Mope.io? Today, I'm going to be showing you, like, doing some commentary over one of my older gameplays. Some of it's from my last video. I just want to say, if you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel. The support has been amazing recently. We've gained, like, 200 subs in the past two days, so yeah. Welcome to all of you that are new. Um, so we're basically going over every single animal in Mope.io all the way to Dragon. And then we'll go further on to get a 2 million score. If you guys want to be really pro, you'll know how to surpass 1.25 million. So basically as a mouse and a rabbit, it's pretty straightforward. You just get berries until you get the pig. I mean, I'm sure all of you could do that. Um, but when you're the pig, you can only eat mushrooms. It's really not worth playing offensive or going after any other animals because mushrooms do give 8 to 20 XP. But when you get the fox, this is a very good animal to, uh, to be because you could go after people who are much higher level. You could go after dragons, bears, anything like that. Try to bite their tails. Biting tails is the easiest way to level up. If you guys don't know how to bite a tail, uh, I'll show you right now. There you go. I just bit that, um, bear's tail. If you saw, you basically go behind them and just hit their tail. Um, to do this, it's good to go underwater because that's a lot of, uh, where the high level people are. As you can see, I'm trying to go after this dragon. Um, one tail bite and on a dragon can get you like straight to 20 to 30 XP, even when you're just like a deer like I am right now. So there's two dragons in the water. It's really good to go after these dragons. All you need is that one lucky tail bite. So I just tail bit a, a jaguar or a cheetah, my bad, a cheetah. And I got some XP. Now I am the mole. The mole, you can go underground if you guys didn't know that. But you cannot go underwater. So it's really good to use that to your advantage. I'm going to go for the tail bite on the dragon. I did get it. There you go. Straight to lion. Um, lion is a very good animal to be. Um, you can hunt some animals. But I wouldn't even recommend that. Um, as you can see, we're actually just skipping over to um, cheetah. But as a lion, you basically do the same exact thing as cheetah. You can go after animals that you can kill. Animals that are lower than you. Uh, as you know, you can go after any animals that are light green. Um, the red animals can kill you, uh, outlined in red. And then the same animal as you, um, you can't kill each other, but you can tail bite each other. Um, so as you can see, I, I'm about to bite this dragon's tail by just hiding in the hole. I'm surprised, to be honest. Like That was really lucky by me, but I did get it. Um, I'm almost to bear, very close. But I'm trying to just find a dragon's tail to bite. Dragon's tails are just... They're so good. They give so many points. Like, if you want to level up quick the bear, you got to bite a dragon's tail. You've got to find the dragon. If no one's um, over 1 million in your server or over 1.25 million, you should probably get a new server so you can find a dragon to bite their tail. Uh, but when you're a bear, bears swim very well in water. That is the bear's advantage. You have to use that to your advantage. As a bear, you want to dominate a lake and kill. It's really good to kill cheetahs, lions, and moles as a bear. Those are your main targets but you could also try to tail bite some dragons if you want to play a little risky but i like just finding a lake personally and just doing some farming i mean there's a lot of good farming you could do in the middle of a lake just don't bite the lake i mean you're a bear no one could stop you like the only people you want to run away from as a bear are the hippopotamus and the crocodile because they are faster than you and probably the rhino as well and maybe even the dragon i mean you could face off against a dragon with pretty well but then again, you could go in the green uh, bushes when you're a bear, so that's really good. As you can see, I'm going over one right now. But here is a fail. This is very important for you guys to see. I was so stupid. Right when I saw this crocodile, I should have left. I don't know how I managed to die here, but I somehow cornered myself. Note that this gameplay was from like a week or two ago, so I have gotten better. But I'm just going over this for the sake of time. I just want to go over this older gameplay. Um, more Mob Dio videos in the future, guys, along with other Dio games. Uh, drop a like if you are enjoying this video so far. It does mean a lot. And leave a comment as well, guys. I really like reading your comments. But right now, um, we're just kind of fast forwarding to another gameplay where I'm the bear again. So as you just saw, I got a really lucky tail uh, bite on a rhino to get the bear. And yeah, timing is very key when you're trying to tail bite people. But Rhino is very fast. You have to run away from a Rhino when you see them. Especially if you're not in the water. Because they thrive on fresh land that isn't water. Just regular land. Um, green land. But yes, as you just can see, I just killed that cheetah. Gives massive points when you're a bear, guys. You have to understand, killing cheetahs is the best way to go. As you can just see, I just got the crocodile. Almost killed another cheetah, but I wasn't able to pick him off um, quite in time. The crocodile. What you need to know about the crocodile is... It's basically the same playstyle as a bear you should use, dominate a lake. 
except you were even faster. So you, you just have to be extremely offensive. Just kill the lions. Um, just a few short kills with the crocodile. Now I'm going to go over how to play as the rhino. The rhino, you don't want to be in the water. But as you know, if you left click on your mouse, you can, their horn like goes out and then you can go faster. Um, if you guys haven't been rhino, you probably won't really know what I'm talking about. But as you can see, it's really good to just get kills. But don't go in the water. Um, you can't go in the bushes, but you can when your horn's out. But it makes you go extra slow as well. As you just uh, saw, I killed a bear. That was really good. Now, the rhino's horn does a ton of damage. You can almost kill someone in one shot, but not quite. It usually takes about two shots to kill someone. So I'm just killing everyone. I'm slaughtering everyone in the server. You just speed up to, like, double. You do not want to get in the path of a rhino, guys. Uh, the rhino is just unstoppable. I'm just slaughtering this bear. As you can see, he's going to try to hide, but I'm just going to wreck him anyways. Here we go. He's hiding, but I just go right through. Bam. Oh, my God. Almost hippopotamus already. So, here we go. The last kill to getting the hippopotamus. He tried to tail bite me. Oh, you should not try to do that against a rhino. Because you just got to turn around when someone tries to tail bite you. And then they're dead if they're in the water. But as a hippopotamus, it's the same exact style as the bear and the crocodile. If you want to dominate a lake. Except you're even faster. You are the fastest animal in the water even dragons are slower than you believe it or not guys if you didn't know the dragons are actually like a pretty slow animal in this game i'm pretty sure maybe even one of the slowest but they do thrive in water but they're still not quick enough as a hippopotamus. so a good strategy to get kills is hiding under the berry bushes or not berry bush but uh under the regular bushes and you can pick off some really high level kills as you just saw i was hiding underneath that bush and killed that bear he had no idea i was there um, to do that, you just go underwater by holding the right click. You guys probably know that already. But I just got the dragon right there from that rhino trying to tail bite me. That was pretty good. Um, just dominate a lake, guys, as a hippopotamus. It's really not that difficult. Just run away if if you want to play conservative. If you find, like, a dragon, you can just run away. So as a dragon, you are basically a pro if you get here. But if you want to be even more of a pro, try to get to, like, a 2 to 3 million score or even higher. Who knows? But as you know, after the update, the dragon is 1.25 mil. That's how you get the dragon. Hippopotamus, uh, you get a 1 mil. Or about that. I actually forget. I can't remember if it's 900,000 or not. But um, as a dragon, everyone is going to try to by you. You just want to stay in a lake. You just want to be very, very conservative and offensive. It's kind of hard to explain. What I like doing as a dragon is just, I don't know, trying to kill as many people as possible. But keep going on underwater like a lot so I don't get tail bait because when you get tail bait you lose a ton of points. But as you can see I'm facing off against this dragon right now because I really want to get the 2 million. So I'm kind of putting him in a position to get tail bit. But someone just saw my kill that cheetah. He turned straight to rhino from killing that dragon. Uh, I'm pretty mad about that so I'm going after him. I'm not going to let this guy go away. I just forfeited a tail bite. Someone tail bit me but I did get the rhino which was very good that puts me up to almost a 1.5 million score so i find another dragon in the server i'm going against him i was following this guy for like 20 minutes guys i, I was really determined to kill this guy as you can see he is going down it just takes a few more tail bites here we go i think he's gonna die here but he does not die um i just gotta get him one more tail bite i did get it there we go so close to a 2 million score but I'm just going to secure the 2 mil right now. Hit them all. Still not 2 mil. Almost. Um, there's the bear. I want to kill that bear. But I'll just hit him once. And I did get him. This is from my last video if you guys didn't know already. Um, I'm just commenting over it to give you guys some tips and tricks. But yeah, that is the kill, guys. Um, let's just show it again one more time for the glory. Look at this. Killing a dragon. Absolutely insane. Oh my god, like killing the dragon is the best feeling in the world, especially when you're a dragon. Dragon versus dragon kill. Dragon versus dragon. Insanity. Oh my god. And then just get to two mil. Two mil is a really good score, I think. I think that's a secure score, but that's the highest I've got. I haven't played for about a week. Um, I'm going to try to get three mil soon, but that's solo. So if you guys are teaming, you can get even higher. I hope this guide helped you um, understand all, more about this game. How to get to dragon easily really you just you just start off low and you get high like it's evolution it's not evolution but it's just advancing in the in the food chain basically i don't know how to explain it but yeah you just get advantages as you level up 
I mean, I don't know how to explain it anymore. Like, I'm trying to really help you guys. I've got loads of comments asking me, like, how to get better at the game, how to get the dragon. People saying they've only got to, like, cheetah or anything like that. I don't know, just, like, mole. Like, some, I, one person said, like, I've only got the mole. I've been trying for, like, an hour. Like, I don't know. I just, I really want to help you guys. You just gotta, you gotta get the bear. That is the safety spot. I think once you get the bear, you can dominate a lake, and it just... It goes up from there. Like, it increases from there. You can do very well once you get the bear. Um, so, I'm just... Keep going. I actually let this guy have my kill. If you guys want to see that, you can check out my last video. It's basically part of this gameplay. Um, sped up. But, that is how you... A guide. This is the guide. Noob to pro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it, it helped you. If it didn't, make sure to drop a like, as I mentioned in the middle of this video. It does mean a lot if you're new to subscribe. Guys, thank you for all the support. It has been amazing. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.